Hi, my name is Danny Londano, and today I'll be talking about uh, Ubuntu Netbook Remix on the EPC901. First of all, I'm going to review the system. It's uh, basically a Linux-based uh, operating system uh, based on Ubuntu, customized for the EPC. And as you can see, there are two uh, sidebars uh, for each menus uh, on the sides here. And here, for example, we have uh, preferences, and we have uh, quite a list of different options here. And on the right side, we have options like desktop, where it'll automatically take you to the desktop folder. And uh, you can get the sense of um, the really sort of uh, feature-filled uh, applications that have been put into this system here. One of the complaints that I have is um, with the internet browser, uh, this, the the EPC is a netbook, which uh, means it's it's based solely on uh, the expectancy that people are going to use it to to browse the web. And uh, here, if you go to the internet section here, you'll see that it has a an MSN emulator, a Firefox browser, a Pigeon Internet Messenger, and uh, other goodies like uh, Mozilla Thunderbird. Now let's let's open up the browser. Now it's a fairly standard uh, Thunderbird installation, sorry, a Firefox installation, and um, my complaint is here that it's taking up uh, far too much space uh, of the screen here. It's only a 10-inch screen, and it's uh, taking up a good portion of that screen there. Now, if I were to redesign this, I would uh, would change uh, the first of all the top toolbar here is uh, taking up space, which is uh, normally fine on a, on a regular desktop computer or a larger uh, laptop but on a, on a netbook type uh, system you really need to maximize your screen usage and it's a really waste uh, waste of space up there to have that and uh, I'm gonna briefly uh, just go over these different sections here you see that it has uh, what you call the those features that you don't really need for example it has a CD slash DVD creator when this unit doesn't even ship with uh, with a CD drive, and uh, there's other things like uh, let's see here, we have disc burner, uh, sound recorder, such things we may not need, and it takes up uh, quite a lot of space um, on the system, and it also increases the boot time. And uh, I'm going to briefly demonstrate an alternative system which is, uh, I think, closer to the ideal, even though it's uh, currently in beta. It's, uh, let's just take a second here to restart. Now, one of the best parts of um, the system we're about to review is that uh, the boot time is incredibly fast, which is a really important feature. Um, the usability of the, the EPC is uh, greatly improved by, by having quick access to, to the operating system because most of the time you just want to get in there and browse the web for just a second maybe check the news or check your email and uh, as you can see it uh, loads up quite fast it's uh, quite an improvement over the Ubuntu system we just uh, just looked at just a moment ago now here you see where it automatically boots into the home screen it has a calendar section here with appointments and here we have uh, the recently uh, visited web pages. So, for example, you can just let's go to Cena real quick here, so you can see how fast it loads, and you can see the difference in the system as far as uh, the web browser and uh, the screen usage. You see that the, the web browser uh, is uh, fills up the whole screen there, and uh, once you scroll up to the top of the screen. You have the menu, the drop down menu comes up with different options. And uh, while the system is in beta, I'm, I'm really impressed with the, uh, the usability in terms of their, their unique approach. Um, they have a pasteboard, for example, which if we just go somewhere and highlight something, let's see, let's highlight. Looks like they actually have a review of a EPC here of the. Uh, Let's see, 1005 HA. So just copy that real quick. And uh, let's 
see here. Go over to the copy board. It's a pasteboard. And here you go. You've got the text that was just uh, copied. So it's it's quite interesting in terms of just the fact that uh, copy paste is something that's, that's frequently used. Yet for some reason, it's not really a central part of, uh, of any operating system that I'm seeing. And uh, that was just my brief review of um, of just the major differences uh, in between the Ubuntu Netbook Remix and uh, this operating system, which is um, called Moblin. It's uh, Mobile Linux. It's currently in beta, although it looks like it's going to be a fairly exciting operating system for netbooks. It's uh, currently got some major stability issues, so it's not something that can be used on a daily basis. But uh, that concludes my usability presentation, and um, I really hope that um, in the future uh, netbooks come with uh, more s uh, sleeker operating systems that are more usable in terms of just having the features that people actually use. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the short presentation. Thank you.